Good morning, FS2. A warm welcome to all of you. How are you all? Hope everybody is fine, happy and healthy. Are you ready for today's lessons? Today is 7th May 2020 and the day is Thursday. You are going to have your maths lesson now. Let's begin with the warm-up song. Stand up and move along. enjoyed that. Now let's move to the lesson. Today you are going to have a revision session. Do you remember the topics you learned this week? Yes. Very good children. We will revise all the topics we learned this week. Our learning objectives to revise skip counting by 1, 2, 5 and 10. To know the quarters of shapes and to know the quarters of quantities. In this slide, you see skip count by 2, skip count by 5 and skip count by 10. You can read aloud. Dear parents, if you want more fun-filled activities for your kids, please print this out, cut it into pieces and let them enjoy solving the puzzle by putting it together. As you very well know the skip count by 2s, 5s and 10s, let's move to the activity. Here we have some numbers missing and you are going to say the missing numbers or you are going to repeat after teacher. Are you ready? Let's begin with skip count by 2s. Here we have 2, 4, what comes next? Very good. 6 and then 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Very good children. Now let's move to skip count by 5s. And here we have 5 and 10. What comes next? It's 15. Very good. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 and 50. Very good. Now let's see. Skip count by tens. Are you ready? Okay. We have 10 and 20 here. What comes next? It's 30. Very good. Then 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100. Very good children. Here is an activity for skip counting. Lacing plate. Take a paper plate and write the number 2 in the middle. Write the numbers. Skip count by 2's around the plate and punch holes as shown in the picture. 
Use lace or thread to practice skip counting. Repeat the activity with different plates with number 5 and 10 on it. These are the things you need. Paper plates, marker and thread or lace. Now let's move to the next topic. Do you know what is a quarter? Quarter is one part of anything that is divided equally into four. Here, in this picture, if we cut the whole pizza into four equal parts, one part of it is a quarter. If we divide the pizza into four equal parts, each child will get a quarter piece of pizza. Here is another activity. How many rabbits you see here in the picture? There are one, two, three, four rabbits. Very good. And we have 16 carrots in this basket. How can we divide the carrots equally? If we divide the total number of carrots into four, each rabbit will get a quarter amount of the total number of carrots. That is, each rabbit will get four carrots. Let's see how. Let's start dividing the 16 carrots among these rabbits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We divided all the sixteen carrots among these four rabbits and let's see how many rabbit how many carrots each rabbit got. This one got four, the second rabbit got four, the third one got four and the fourth one got four carrots. That is if you divide 16 carrots among 4, each will get 4 carrots. Here is another activity for you. Paper Pizza Craft Look at the given picture of pizza with paper cutouts. Make a pizza of your own and cut it into quarters. You can even assist your mom in the kitchen and help her with making pizza. When it gets ready, cut it into quarters and enjoy your activity. Don't forget to make pictures and videos and send to your teacher to receive special appreciation. Here are some links which will help the kids to be thorough with the topics. This one for skip count by two. This one for skip count by 5, this is skip count by 10 and this link for fraction song. You can either click it here or open in the copy and open it in the browser and let the students enjoy the videos. That is the end of today's lesson. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thank you. Have a great day.